So in a couple of days, my Discord server is hosting a 5v5 Dota event where everyone's a noob. The players are noobs, the caster's a noob, and it will all be streamed live on my Twitch. And while the players have excuses, I mean, most of them are longtime League of Legends players, I have over a decade experience playing Dota, but I've never once done casting. Well, to prepare a bit so the viewership doesn't cringe at me more than the players, I went live the other day and tried to cast the game for the very first time ever. Here's what happened next. Then I will do what I was fearing of doing for so long. I want to make a total fool of myself and practice casting. Ooh, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, I am so nervous. Learning how to cast games. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't, I've, I've never cast a game before. I don't even know how to do this. Okay. All right, let's get started. So we have... Okay, do I... My... My god, all of my... So we have this is... Watch Radiant, watch Dire, watch All is not pinned. Thirty seconds to battle. God, I have I have no idea what. Okay, I gotta set up my hotkeys. Uh, I just don't know where the settings are for this thing, and I wanted to learn. Um, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All of my buttons are going for the different players, so my numbers are for player. Somehow, I have made it extremely slow as well. Um. No, my God! I just figured it out. The plus and minus signs are for uh, for the thing. So let me start over. I gotta. I really want to learn this thing, but I don't know how. There you got both supports on the radiant side. Puck has been shown with the Grimstroke. Grimstroke combos very well with. God, this is going so fast. We have a Grimstroke. And uh, Centaur, that is a great combo. You can layer the stuns, huge damage in, fi in games. This is just so. F what? What was that draft? That was so fast. Dire side is swamp, uh, smoked out. Probably gonna place wards. You can see that Axe hasn't purchased anything. That's on the courier now. And on the other side, we have Luna's going up here, maybe using her superior nighttime vision to get vision of the enemies. We're not. Looks like the Radiant don't really care about the bottom rune, and they're just gonna contest this one instead. So it's gonna be a two for two, pretty standard. I'm using my mouse to control this because I honestly, <laughs> I'm not used to controlling it with hotkeys. Which means that the supports are gonna be who? Wait. Wait. Uh, there's no supports on the right on this side. We have our axe support is actually. Warding mid, then rotating bottom. They should have a really good advantage here at level 1. Let's see how the mid lane is doing. That's not mid, that's not mid, that's not mid, there we go! <laughs> I'm gonna pause it for a moment just to... <laughs> this is going to be the stupidest 5v5. The players have can't play and I can't cast. <laughs> Rubik is not rushing a bottle. In fact, he only... Oh my god, this is... I get it. This is a turbo game. I'm trying to cast a turbo game. Ah, practice. Uh, Axe? Axe is... Diving the tier 1. And... It looks like Kudlink is decidedly not interested in participating here. And of course, Axe, he can't really do anything at level 2 under the tower. Kudlink misses her bushwhack. Rotation in from Grimstroke and already set the first death... <laughs> the first death is to Wraith King, but the first blood is also to Wraith King. As he both dies first and gets the first blood. Not many people can do that at the same time. Axe finally learned what his Q does and has called the Wraith King. Wraith King saved by the Centaur. As at the same time, Centaur gets a kill on the other side. Very good double use of the ultimate. Now Centaur, he's got Rubik to deal with, so he's not gonna survive this. But maybe Rubik will come out as a... No, he's not. Oh, oh god. Okay, Lich. 
We had a rotation. Top lane. Hoodwink has decided that Wraith King doesn't need her. Oh my god, another hero. There we go. Four person. Tree planted. Nothing as follow up. Bushwhack misses. Dreamfile lands on Lich already under tower, but we've seen that Puck can in fact dodge. Decides not to dodge any of those shots. And Lich is going to dodge on his own. Surviving Lich versus three. Finally dies. Level seven, no ultimate. Very interesting strategy. He's gonna turn on his armlet when out of combat and turn it off when back into combat. Lich with the sinister gaze. Puck, does he have another dream coil? At? No, he does not. It's on cooldown for 20 seconds. Puck is hugging everybody with the most elusive ranged hero. Triple! Triple bushwhack! Is he gonna use his ultimate to jump over the cliff? <laughs> Dice to play now while the ult with the ultimate. Eclipse coming out, first Eclipse of the game, gets linked, no enemies nearby, and on the other side we have Centaur dying to a Rubik mid. We have another, this is 7 minutes, 18 kills already. Hold up, as Wraith King did use his ultimate already. He's gotta turn off that omelet though, he's gonna die to it, it's passive. It looks like they're going after oh my god! <laughs> At the very least. Wraithking dies to Armlet! <laughs> and here's the blink initiation on. Send. Nope, nope. Are they gonna do it? I got a gift for you that will have guests. Blink from Axe. Blink from Lich. Blink from Lich. Lich, you gotta blink as well! Alright, solo ulti on the Wraith King. While uh, Wraith King already has a uh, reincarnation, he turned off Armlet for. That first hit, turned it back on. Remember that it's an active item to be used during combat. And there's the ultimate there. Reincarnation's on. Puck, if you can survive this, you're getting chased like crazy, but he's gonna... Oh my god, Misha, is that you? Second coming. Somehow Grimstroke dies in the end again. I feel like this is going to be a theme this game. Is it better to camera follow like this? Maybe, like, I don't know if people get seasick if I if they do if I do this like just walking around. Rubik with the attack range groove bow, okay. And then we have I heard it, I heard it. The initiation here, while his ultimate is still not available, Wraith King decides to fight two v three, dies and then Puck dies afterwards. This is this is not going too well. The initiation axe already has a BKB. Blink, Blade Mail, all of the items starting with B. He's a baller, a beast, and is butchering the Bradiant team. Is Puck going to show? No, he's not. Any Blink Daggers from the Radiant? There is one on Wraith King. An initiation from Wraith King and Puck going in. Chain, Chain Frost, Puck is Sinister Gaze it. Zero duration, the Hoodlink Ultimate. Lich dies. Wraith King dies, Abaddon's ultimate triggered, Wraith King still holding strong, change targets, going on the Luna, decently tanky Luna by the way, here's the reincarnation, Puck is ahead, Nisha going to work, dodges tower hit, and there is, she's been saving this for the second fight, and turning around, EXP Dragon almost dead, Puck almost surviving, can he make it out with the orb, yes he can, is everybody buying Axe? What the fuck? I know I'm not selecting the right targets in these fights, and I really should be. That's something I need to work on. We're gonna have a 5v5, nothing but noobs. It's gonna be like this game. Do I cast it? Or do I just commentate? Are we doing it for laughs, or am I gonna try and be serious about it? Surprisingly enough, everybody's remembered the tier 3 tokens except for blue. And more so than that, there are four like cloaks of flames power. this game. Everybody's gonna be burning down. The drag cam seems way too quick for us. I have no idea how to change the setting. Okay, full built Glettnir Guardian Greaves. Mjolnir completed on Puck. Did I just see that? Yes, I did. 
Pot jumped by the Lich. Initiation with an assassination. There goes Aegis. First life down. All of their initiations were stacked, so nothing to kill him on the second life. Wraith King decides now that the old initiation is gone, he can go back in. Blade Mail up again. Here's a chain with no follow up, and the Wraith King is still. He is walking in circles. Hit a something. Wraith King gets ulted, but he's got two lives as well. Uh, is it going? Are the Radiant going to win? Seven versus five. Axe trying to get uh, by time. Eclipse rushing out, but not doing much. Wraith King tanking through it. Armlet still, still being used to its maximum efficiency, and he dies in the end. One for four. Wraith King tanked so hard. They're splitting the map pretty hard though. Radiant and Dire. Radiant is pushing top, Dire bottom. Is it going to be a base race? We got... Hoodwink's going to be representing Radiant's push. And Dire is going to be on this axe, frontlining. Let's go on the tower. No care in the world about enemy defenders. He's still got a blink, but he chooses not to. Blade Mail is being used. Oh, okay. Goodwink is going to solo push the tower on the base on the other side. We have EXP Dragon dying. Puck and Wraith King both dead and both alive. Wraith King, BKB on second life, eats <laughs> Eclipse, but Eclipse not doing any damage to Wraith King, she pucks back and kills the centaur. Wraith King back in. Three versus three. Puck dies melee range again, not using any abilities or items. Wraith King can't decide who to hurt. Axe on the other side, just killing this Grimstruck. Man, Grimstruck, you have had a terrible game. I've been watching. XP Dragon, one versus three in the end. And he's gonna die for it. Maybe he can take out the Rubik on the way out. Lich is causing a lot of issues with that 70% resistance. 60% resistance didn't get their shield. Good defense. Radiant, sorry, Dire win the fight and run away while Hoodwink takes out an entire lane on her own. Incredible stuff. I can't believe that the Dire win the fight, lose the lane. Why didn't Dire stick around to kill EXP Dragon on Wraith King? Why didn't they push for an Equilibrium? Dire going for the Roshan. This is going to be uncontested. Radiance is probably going to group up the smoke. Dire uncontested Roshan pickup. Radiant doesn't know what's going on. No wards on the map. If you take a look, let's see here. This is Radiant Vision. They ain't got shit. Dire Vision also got nothing. This guy wants nothing but HP, no defensive items. Whoa, whoa, what is happening to my camera? Why did it switch? Why am I in drag? What is, hold on. There we go. No, yep. For some reason it was drag control a moment ago. The XP Dragon before dying the first time actually uses BKB on his first life and quickly dies on the other side. This is just a hogwash of everybody killing each other. Abaddon just refreshes his ultimate to survive even longer. Second life on... Uh... uh <laughs> on Wraith King, Hoodwink bought back to eat another Lich ultimate! Full to zero in two bounces! Puck! I mean, uh, Hoodwink! Puck somehow survives and so does Grimstruck. They're just gonna brute force this, but be careful, Lich has uh, assassin build. Blinking from Axe, blinking from Lich, Sinister Gaze and Ulti, Shard, everything on this poor Grimstroke that's been dying every single fight. The two tanks coming in, Centaur kills Lich with his own blade mail, Lich dies in the end. No defense, no buybacks from anyone on the dire side. Okay. This was really fun. I enjoyed casting that game. It was about as much chaos as we'll probably see in the real game, so it was a solid first practice. Uh, what to improve on? I have, I'm basically never clicking on heroes 
The best thing I can do is click on the guide's about to die. That's what people want to see their health bars jump. That's the best gamer, and that's the best experience. I'm not clicking on any heroes, but I am moving the camera around. Hopefully I'm keeping the action in the middle. This was really fun. Okay, more practice. So, do you want to watch the 5v5 event live? Follow me on Twitch for the stream, ring the bell on YouTube for the announcement, and consider joining the Discord for future noob events like this one. See you there.